There's a little video on this platform called Proxy Talk. It's actually an open source GitHub front end for TikTok. And it is very cool. You can self host it. You can access their list of public instances right here. An instance is someone who's self hosting it and they give the public access. So it's a public self host instance. They also have a tour public one right here. This is a tour URL. I'll leave this page right here in the description. Basically, what a front end for you, uh, TikTok, is we'll go ahead and head over to this domain. Oh, whoops, hold on. Let me load that in a separate tab. So it lets you access TikTok without accessing TikTok. So the instance will access the TikTok page or the video or the profile, whatever, without you actually using the TikTok website and having to sign in. So we'll go ahead and look up um, a random TikTok account like. Um, We'll do Mike Trout. He's a famous baseball player. I'm sure he has a TikTok. He has to. All right, there we go. Mike Trout TikTok. So this is TikTok. We're going to copy it, the URL. Considering you might have the URL, you can search by TikTok URL or even the username or the tag, the music ID or video ID. Um, we'll actually use the username. We'll try that. So we'll type in Mike Trout and then we'll press search and this will head over to his profile as you can see right here and you can watch videos and everything um, I'm gonna go and play this video I'm not gonna play the whole thing because I don't know if I'll get copyright striked or not and yeah you can also have an RSS feed basically an RSS feed is if you have an RSS app you can copy the URL right here I'll paste up here in the search the RSS URL and what it'll do is it will actually send the feed like notifications to an RSS app if you have an RSS app so you can get notified on that so you won't even be accessing TikTok it will just send you a, a link to your app um, some popular RSS apps are Net Newswire Net Newswire I think this is iOS only or it might be Android only I don't know but this is a very popular yeah iOS iOS and Mac this is a very popular RSS feeder so you can use it for reading, podcasts, everything pretty much. So that's how you use the username function and it shows you everything. Like you can go down to the whole video and everything, all the profile, you can go next. There's multiple tabs you can go in. And yeah, so if we head back home on this instance, we can actually go to the discover page too. So you can see different accounts. And then if we go home again, we can go to the trending and it'll show you the trending page on TikTok. Which is pretty crazy. As you can see, we can just play any video we want. We're not going to play the whole song because it will copyright strike. And you can also download videos, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can download and change the playback speed. And then you can click for the original link and it'll take you to TikTok. And you can also click for the instance link and it'll give you the link to where you're looking at it on the instance. And there's also a big download button. There's hashtags you can search by. And that's this instance. I'll show you one more instance just so you can see that it's, um, like, it's the same for every instance. Pretty much these instances just host the code and the code is the same. So it will be displayed the same on everyone. It just depends where they're hosted. So this one right here is hosted in France or Netherlands. I thought that was France. This is France or Ireland. Wow. I don't know my any of my country, any of the country flags. This one's Canada, though. That one's easy. So we'll go ahead and do this one in the Netherlands. And we'll go to it. You can see it's the same thing. And this one in Ireland is the same thing, too. So I'll show you guys a Tor one. You can access it through the Tor network if you uh, have a Tor browser. You're going to copy this URL right here. And pro tip when you use Tor, don't adjust the window size because that removes the purpose of being like anonymous, kind of. Because browsers can tell your screen size if you adjust it to your full screen so once you paste the URL and search and tour the dot onion website um, as long as this website is running then you should be able to just do the same thing you can search and everything so uh, tour does take a little bit longer just because it routes your data through different ones you can see right here my guard is the United Kingdom then it goes to Germany and then Germany and then it uh, kicks it around like a soccer ball across these three right here 
and we can go ahead and type in just how everything else works. So we'll do Mike Trout again. Search. It will take longer on Tor though because your connection is going through di three different connections and it's getting kicked around three more times. So you can just play videos and everything. Yeah, I can't play that whole song. That song will get copyright striked. So yeah, that's um. This is proxy TikTok. If you need to access TikTok without, you don't want to make an account or you don't want to use TikTok or the TikTok website, you, you can do it like this. And it's actually updated frequently. You can see right here, it updated three days ago, and they're pushing commits, which means they're updating all the time. The last release was actually three days ago, which is not that bad. Um, it looks like they just updated the way of getting the videos, actually, which is pretty good. So, yeah, guys, that's Proxy TikTok. I'll leave the link to the page, the GitHub page, in the description under, uh, I'll put GitHub page, and then for instances. So, I'll use instances in the description of where you can access it. And this one's actually the official one right here, so I do recommend this one. But if you want to be anonymous, you can use a tour. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, Proxy TikTok. It allows you to access TikTok. Uh, trending, discovery tag, tags, video ID, themes, and allows you to do RSSS, which is really nice, especially if you don't want to have TikTok uh, for the various reasons, whatnot. It's actually TikTok's a pretty crazy app, in my opinion. Very, very modern in the ad space, that's for sure. And then it also processes all the requests on TikTok server side, so you, your connection won't ever connect to their servers, which is good for privacy if you like that. I mean, honestly, everyone likes privacy, but some people are more conscious than others. So, yeah, guys, um, that's Proxy TikTok. And it actually has a little guide right here where you can use libdirect and redirector. So, I think this is a extension. Yes, yeah, extension. So, let's we'll test this out real quick. So, we'll go ahead and add this extension. No, this will be for another video, actually. So I'll do another video on this for adding the extension. Basically, what it does is if you open a if you open a video in TikTok, it'll automatically redirect it to the website. So I'll do this in another video. But yeah, that's Proxy TikTok. Thanks for watching, guys, and hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe.